Neil and Dan's amazing, amazing trip. trip. Welcome to Neil and Dan's Amazing Trip, Episode 3, Calgary! Yeah, man. So we're here in Calgary, at the Calgary Tower. Uh, it's the second day. Yesterday we didn't do a whole lot, we just um, we checked in to our hostel, which you can actually see from here, and uh, we went to a museum called the Glenbow, which you can also see from here. Pretty much see everything from here. It's a really spectacular height. Oh yeah, oh boy. You can see so far into the distance. Pure amazement. We're having a word of the time. Yeah. Episode three. <laughs> this is amazing. I just the expression if like what I'm feeling right now, it's hard to put into words to tell you guys back home just just how I'm feeling. It's just so good, isn't it? It's a great feeling. Back to go on the glass floor. Now uh, 11:15, and we just arrived at Fort Calgary from uh, our from the uh, hosteling international, and um, we're about to see it, but it's tipping it down with rain, and we're a bit wet, so we're not going to be filming outside so much. Um, but hopefully, you can still see what we see, and I will tell you all about it uh, in due time. So Fort Calgary was established in. 1875. It only took six weeks to construct and essentially it served as a place for the, uh, for the Mounties to rest and they even had a nice little hay yard. Fifty men of F Troop uh, established the fort and it was uh, it's quite a big like, achievement I think. To do that much and it was quite uncomfortable space. conditions though. Yeah, and it hadn't been, it took a, a long time before they, they upgraded it, so. Yeah, yeah, they had to put up with the yeah, rain no coming through the roofs. Indeed. But uh, a lot of the information is on the wall, and we're just sort of reading through them now. <laughs> <laughs> give him the game away, Neil. Yeah, give him a little game away. Very dapper, Neil. Thank you. Does this mean that he's the higher rank? That's right. Oh dear, I dear, Dan. You're a constable. <laughs> oh well. And he's the sergeant, I'm guessing, with the three stripes. You your buttons. Very uh, dapper oh, there. Thank you. So Dan and I have bought salt water taffy from the gift shop at the Fort Calgary Museum. And uh, as far as I know, we've both never had it. But this is Dan's reaction. Nice and orange. Quite sticky. Uh, it's got a bit of white in the middle. So that's good. Quite chewy. 
is nice and sweet. Nice. Is that a cottage Oh. Well, it turns out I got the licorice. Oh, yeah. I like uh, the orange. The orange is very good. The licorice is one of my favorites. The orange is good. You don't like licorice, I don't though, do you? I like Hennessy. Welcome to Fort Calgary. Behind us, you'll find the uh, reconstruction of the fort as it would have been in 1875. This is located in the heart of uh, modern Calgary, with many skyscrapers reaching high into the sky, a testament to man's modern creativity. Here we find a reconstruction of the barracks that the men used to sleep in. Although now closed off to the public, back in the day, people would used to sleep here, and it was very rickety and old, and the rain would come through the roof, and it was not very comfortable. Here we see why Fort Calgary is in such a prime location. Located close to the river, the men of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police could use the river for many amenities of life such as cooking, washing and drinking. It simply is splendid. So we're here at the uh, Calgary Zoo and behind me is the map of the area, of the Calgary Zoo area. And we're going to go and see all the different types of animals that Alberta, Canada has to offer us. Meanwhile, Dan has got a mission to see how far he can go with his Beatles accent. Now go. That's right. I'm going to pretend to be Paul or maybe Ringo. The Asian wild horse. Marco. The red panda. The snowy owl. Japanese macaques, Siberian tigers, very majestic, a wallaby maybe, Andean condors, it's a grizzly bear, it's a grizzly bear, the Japanese zero, hyacinth macaw, the pygmy marmoset, it's giving the other one a bit of a, a bit of a going over. So the hairdressers. A peacock. Bambi. Back train or Bactrian camel. The cotton top tamarin. Brazilian agouti. Capybara. It's like a big beaver. Dancing elephant. Who would have thought? See how far I can get close to it. Hello, Polly. Hello. How are you doing? Careful it doesn't poke your eye out. Well, I don't really want to touch it, otherwise it might go crazy. Might poo itself as well. Oh no, it's backing off. But it hasn't gone like... So that was Calgary Zoo. Nobody batted an eyelid with a ridiculous accent and we saw a lot of animals and it was really, really good. Enjoyed myself quite a lot, as did Neil. So we've arrived at the uh, ranch in, outside Calgary and the drive was uh, not too long, just about an hour. And um, the view of Calgary as we left the city was pretty spectacular. Skyscrapers in the distance, just an amazing city. And uh, we arrive now in this uh, in this ranch, and we want to uh, have a look around, see see just uh, what ranches are all about in Alberta. ask her to, um, she knows how to, when I, I use a mounting block of course because I can't hop up there, and she can, she will come over and make herself, position herself so it's just right for me to step on her back. Oh, 
she po she's posing, is she? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. oh. Transit system, very cool like train in the middle of the high street transit system. Believe me, that looks cool. It looks really high tech. Yeah, it's um, really weird, like right train here. platform just yeah. jutting out into the middle of the right high street. Right, downtown centre of Calgary. Anyway. Yeah, we're going to uh, look at the, the massive planes and learn about Canadian planes and uh, spacecraft. And this will be the last museum, hopefully, uh, until maybe Vancouver. So. <laughs> What a film. Not a lot of space in these aircraft, but they do the job. Duncan Parker, and um, what is it that you're particularly working on here for the... Uh, I'm doing two murals for the Aerospace Museum um, voluntarily because um, I'm a mural artist by trade mm -hmm. and um, I'm interested in aircraft and they asked me kindly to uh, donate some murals so uh, my Wait. wife and I are, uh, are painting these two. This is, of, um, this is a backdrop for the uh, child's helicopter toy so the helicopter will be in front of it the idea being that it's a it's a helicopter exhibition, and it's, it's to provide a photo backdrop, yeah. a photo shoot for parents to photograph their children uh, in a helicopter machine, you know, the toy over there you see, yeah. and uh, give them a little bit more than just a white wall to, uh, to photograph. That's excellent. And this is, uh, I believe, the balloon exhibition, uh, the balloon club, the Calgary Balloon Club, is now becoming part of the Aerospace Museum. Mm -hmm. And they're due to, the, the basket here is to again provide a photo opportunity for children and their parents yeah, sure. with uh, the city of Calgary and some balloons in the backdrop. What did you learn today, Dan? I learned that in World War II most of the British fighter pilots trained in Canada because it was very flat. So it's the end of episode three. And Hope you enjoyed yeah. Calgary as much as we enjoyed Calgary, because Calgary is a nice place. I think everyone will agree. Yeah, uh, lots to see and do in Calgary. It's, it's uh, not cheap as uh, some of the other places, but it's definitely worthwhile, and I oh, enjoyed it so much. But coming up next time, mm -hmm. Banff. Yeah, we. Yeah. Banff. Banff. God yeah, Banff. Love it. Amazing trip. Oh yeah. Neil and Down's amazing trip. Kneeling Down's an amazing trip. <laughs> <laughs>